In today's adventures, we're going to be exploring the town of Mount Gambia and all the attractions it has to offer. Here we are at Umphus and Sinkhole. Why is this sculpture important, Mum? Because the limestone was taken out of the sinkholes themselves and it was made 15 to 40 million years ago and in these actual limestone blocks um, you would find composed fragments of marine animals. It's pretty impressive instead of just grabbing any old limestone. It's the real and authentic ancient Here we're off to Cave Gardens, which was the town's water supply until 1870. Whoa, isn't that cool? Oh, dropped him. <laughs> All the way from SA Rocks. Here we have arrived at the Mount Gambia Visitor Center to explore and have a look around it.
HMS Lady Nelson has been a very busy ship. It was built in 1799 in Deptford, England. In 1800, it was the first ship to sail from the west through Bass Strait. It traveled all around Australia, even assisting uh, Lieutenant Matthew Flinders, but had to sail back to Sydney in 1802 due to getting damaged on the Great Barrier Reef. Towards the end of its life, in 1806, it made the voyage to New Zealand to return the Maori chief to Pahi to his homeland. But then in 1824, she accompanied HMS Tamar to establish the first white settlement in the north of Australia on Melvin Island in the Northern Territory. On her second trip from the new settlement in 1825 in search of supplies, she called at the island of Baba, where the crew were murdered by natives and the ship run ashore and burnt. So what you're seeing here is a replica of HMS Lady Nelson. Here we are at Engelbrecht Caves, ready to go on a guided tour. They're just tours. Here we are, we've got a tour group going down now. Here we are, we've just finished at Engelbrecht Caves. It's called Engelbrecht Cave because of the man who owned the land. That was his last name and he was a German migrant. Areas like this do not experience or did not feel any of the earthquake shock, shocks that have been experienced recently at Bordertown or Melbourne because the limestone acts as a bit of a buffer. Um, the air in there is really and the water in there is actually quite pure because of the limestone works as a filter, like a filtration. Here we've arrived at the Little Blue Lake. And we're now leaving the Little Blue Lake after Nikolai and I jumped in the freezing cold waters. How was it, Nikolai? Freezing! <laughs> you could tell we're starting to get a little bit too cold because we're starting to turn a bit blue and purple, especially around the lips and stuff. There's a fair few other guys wearing wetsuits as they're jumping in, but whoa, it was a refreshing way to finish our trip to Mount Gambier.